What's up guys and welcome back to Planet 2. Man, oh man, we are back and uh, things are looking good. Check out our, uh, oh, wow, that's that's fantastic. That is that is quite the intro, but I was going to say, check out our boy here, Shivanch, one of our two new Bengal tigers that we added in the uh, in the last episode. Uh-oh, we, we probably want to stop this. Hold on, we, we don't want this, we don't want this happening, so I'm going to send this back to the Trade Center, but... Um, yeah, things are uh, things are looking good. We've got a, a beautiful new day, and we were watching the sunrise over the zoo. We've got some new animals we're going to be adding in today, and uh, let's see if we can just keep getting bigger and better. You know what I mean? So we, um, I've already got a, a plan for today. I was just kind of you know browsing, managing everything, making sure everything was looking good. You know, some of our animals are being a little bit weird. The Gila monsters, I guess we we can't get a keeper to come to their hut. I can't even call for a keeper, so. I don't know why that's happening, but you guys can see a lot of them are very low welfare, so that's something to be concerned about. But overall, we just we went through the night. I was making sure everything was looking good. It does look like everything is fine. And um, I actually found two fantastic deals on the animal market. So if we come in to our animal storage here, you guys are going to see we've got two cheetahs. We've got Aid and Alika. They both have fantastic genetics, fantastic, you know, genes and, and breeding and everything like that. They're both young. They both bring a lot of hype and uh, I, I think it's going to be awesome. Oh, okay. We, we probably, we probably don't want this to happen, but I'm kind of tempted to see, should we just see what happens and see what the genes come out like? I feel like, I mean, this is not a good idea and we definitely don't want to make this a habit. But I'm just kind of curious to see what happens. Obviously, we want to create a healthy habitat for these animals, a healthy environment and lifestyle and stuff like that. So I don't I don't think we want to make that like a regular thing. But at the same time, like lions are kind of a little endangered. So is it the worst thing that could happen? I don't know. I guess for science, we're going to find out as soon as they actually have those babies. We'll uh, we'll check it out. But um, anyway, let's work on this new cheetah exhibit. So what I talked about in our last episode is I want to kind of start to theme the zoo a little bit better. So over here, we have like, you know, Asia, India, that sort of thing. We've got our Komodo dragons from Indonesia down here. We've got the Bengal tigers. Then we're going to add like pandas and, and Indian elephants and stuff like that over here. And then over on this side, this is our African side. So obviously we've got our lions. I'm thinking we're going to put the cheetahs right here and then we could put like maybe elephants over here when we get those african elephants that is and uh you know just kind of keep expanding that way is is kind of my plan so i think this is going to be our cheetah enclosure that way we've got the big cats over in one area which is kind of cool so let's go ahead and pause this up and let's take a look at uh, exactly what we're going to need so if we take a look at our cheetahs we're going to need a grade two fence doesn't have to be climb proof doesn't even have a height restriction. 705 square meters of space. They don't need water or climbing, although they would use it if we gave it to them and um, need to keep it just kind of a normal a normal temperature here. All right, so grade two fence is gonna be, uh, that's gonna be glass. You can just straight up have a glass fence with these guys. I I mean, I know they're they're fairly nice. They, they definitely aren't as aggressive as some of the other big cats, but I I didn't think it'd be that easy for us. But we're, we're gonna go ahead and, um, I say we expand this a little bit here. Gonna grab our 10 meter path and gonna bring it straight out a little bit more, just like that, just to make sure we keep that on going. Dude, that is a long walkway down the middle of the zoo, but I guess it kind of works, because that way you can kind of cut off and come back and cut off and rejoin the main path whenever you want to, which is, is kind of nice. So uh, we've got that. Now we're gonna hop into our barriers and we're gonna go ahead and grab our glass. We can make it curved if we want. And um, let's just, Let's just go ahead and start this thing. Make sure that we bring it around here. Just want to make make sure if we do have to end up extending it at any point in the future, we're not going to be in a bad spot where we have to completely remake the fence. You know what I mean? So this uh, this should be pretty good here. I guess we can probably straighten this out. Going to bring it around like that, and then we can run it down this side. Make it the longest we possibly can. Just kind of. Bring it over yonder. Let's make sure that's lined up though. I wish there was a way to just auto, I wish you could just like kind of draw the idea you had in your head and the, the game would just auto fill and put, uh, put stuff exactly lined up where you want it. You know what I mean? This is gonna be a really big habitat. We may want to end up splitting this up into two. I, this is just gonna be very, very large. So I mean, honestly, if anything, I think we could could kind of make a similar thing to what we did with the Bengals over here. I feel like this turned out pretty well. Oop, we don't, 
I don't I don't think we want this. Loana, I'm sending you to the Trade Center for now. I'm sorry, girl. But um, yeah, it just kind of on a, a bigger scale. Obviously, the, the Bengals don't really have that big of an environment. By the way, I want to check on them, make sure they're good. Looks like the temperature's a little hot. What what temperature do they want to be at? Let me check their Zoopedia. That's something we didn't really mess around with yesterday. Um, 12 to 40 degrees. All right, so we're we're gonna want we're gonna want some coolers in here. I'll put another cooler over near this bush. We're gonna have to reduce the size a little bit, and then I guess we'll put another one over here. Should be pretty good. And um, let's set these guys. We can we can set it to I'm gonna say 30. 38 or so should be a, a good temperature for them. I want to make sure these guys are happy. I mean, really, with the, the, the big cats, the lions, the tigers, the cheetahs now, these are a, a major a major focus for us. Like, we, we really need these things to do well. If they don't do well, we're going to be in trouble. Why can I not? I'm just, all right, we're going to have to have to move this bush then. Um, so we, we need to make sure that they're happy. We need to make sure that they're breeding. We need to make sure that they're they're doing their thing. I'm actually I'm gonna set it to 35 because it is kind of it is kind of hot outside. She's she's already pregnant. Let's go, baby. Offspring due May of year 39. So that's actually in a couple of months. So that's that's good news. I guess they are fairly happy. But I'm just thinking for for the future. But um, yeah, back to our cheetahs here. So we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get these guys set up. This is a part. It's next to the lions. So we should probably add the cheetahs to that work zone. So we're gonna come into our work zones. We're gonna edit the bears to ostriches and lions. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, and add that guy. Now, because we did that, we should probably hire, I'm gonna say a new keeper, at least, at least one. And uh, we're gonna set this guy to work on the bears, ostriches, and lions. All right, looks, looks good to me. But yeah, I'm, I'm thinking this Bengal tiger exhibit, Kind of a similar deal, obviously different plant life and stuff, but kind of a similar, you know, little hills and a cave and, and stuff like that. Maybe not a waterfall this time around. The waterfalls are pretty, but I don't want too many waterfalls to be going on. So uh, I, I feel like hey, we could make it look pretty cool. We could obviously use like the, the desert rock here. So it's going to look nice next to the lions and uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. So I'm kind of thinking, why don't, why don't we go a little crazy here? I'm going to play this so we can get these guys in here. I'm gonna go with our terrain tool and we are gonna pull up big time. We're gonna make them a cave right in the middle. Looks like our cheetahs are coming in here. Oh man, dude, honestly, one of my favorite animals. I, I you know, as a kid growing up, I think it definitely was and I, I think it's still up there. I just, I, I love them. You know, the, the fastest, is it the fastest mammal? The fastest land animal? I don't know exactly what the the wording is but uh you know sprinting speeds of up to 70 miles an hour and these guys are actually like really well mannered like you if you wanted you could have one as a house cat they're uh they're they're pretty cool so uh that's awesome to see but we need to keep working on on this magnificent beast that we have going on right here so you guys know i like to do something a little different for each exhibit i don't want it to get too similar or too boring or anything like that so we uh we definitely pulled out quite a few stops with this one i i don't know you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think i'm thinking we might be able to kind of dress it up a little bit i mean we smoothed this out and i i do feel like it looks pretty cool you know i i like the idea if we take a look at our um at traversable area let's select our cheetah if we can we're gonna get out of our terrain thing select our cheetah you guys can see they have a couple of ways of getting up there so they can access it I mean, it's not my favorite thing we've ever built, but at the same time, at least it's different. You know what I mean? So we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna work with this. So let's see what we're looking at in terms of terrain and everything else. So it looks like we definitely want a lot more short grass. We're gonna use some more long grass and we want way less sand. We want more of soil and rock in that case. So sounds good to me. Let's get into it. We're gonna get our painting tool. And uh, I'm gonna say let's do short grass up on top of this thing. Dude, this is a massive painting tool. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna do a lot of short grass there and that's still honestly not even enough short grass. I'm gonna say let's let's do the short grass off into this area. And then I'm thinking, I mean we definitely let's let's just do let's do some some long grass over in this area. So we'll make this a, a little bit, you know more foresty and we'll have more plants and stuff like that. So boom, short grass, long grass. That's literally all they wanted. I guess we could, um, I mean, let's, let's kind of mix it up a little bit. So I'm going to do a little soil down here in the bottom. 
Put some soil down here. Since it's kind of a cave, you know what I mean? I feel like that, that makes a bit of sense. Kind of brighten it up a bit. So we've got that there. And uh, boom! I think, I think in terms of, of painting it, that's pretty good to go. Now for coverage, they're already good. Shoot, this is rough. I guess it's a good thing that we did do something different here because otherwise we wouldn't have had anything to dress it up. You know what I mean? Like this, these, these guys are gonna be very, very boring. Um, we, we can do a few plants on the grasslands of Africa, but apart from that, I mean, they, they don't, they don't really want anything. Like they're, they're literally as happy as could be right now. They need a little bit of enrichment. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and get, uh, let's get one of our vets researching on that. But you know, a, apart from, you know, some enrichment and some food and water, these guys are pretty much good to go. So I think what I'm gonna do here, just to kind of dress this up a little bit, is I think we are gonna add a waterfall. I know I said I wasn't going to earlier, but I just, I feel like we're not gonna have enough coverage to make this look nice. So I'm thinking we have a waterfall that comes off this backside. It's gonna go down like some, some desert rocks or something like that. And then we're gonna have a little creek that goes over into a pond over here. So let's, um, let's I guess, first of all, we can start with the creek and the pond. So we're going to reduce the intensity, reduce the size a little bit. This is going to be our little ponds. And then we're going to have a, uh, we're going to have a creek that kind of runs to that is my, my plan here. So we'll see, we'll see how this ends up working out. What does that look like? I mean, that's, that's actually pretty nice for our first try. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to rock with that. Now we're going to come into nature and let's get some, uh, let's get some desert rocks. So we're, we're actually going to close up this side of the, uh, the cave. I was thinking about it, like having all four corners of the cave be completely like sh open is probably a little unfair to these guys. I mean, they, they're going to like a space to be able to, to go in, put their backs to something and feel comfortable. So I, I have no problem giving them that, uh, that privacy. So we're going to, we're going to try to man make our first waterfall in this game we have not done this before and uh, I guess we'll see how it turns out now I do want to make sure which way can these guys come up it looks like this way a little bit of that way okay they could actually access it from three sides so we're gonna be okay I just don't want to I don't want to block one of their ways that they can get up so let's let's be careful not to have the rocks come out too far but yeah we're just gonna kind of set up a nice little rocky waterfall here i think i'm gonna have this be kind of like the the lip of the waterfall up there so that's where the water is going to start we're gonna have a couple other rocks above it i don't really know how to make a waterfall i mean i, I know i know kind of what you can do now but we've never made one so hopefully this ends up uh ends up looking pretty legit so i'm just kind of trying to fill this in you obviously don't want too many of the same looking rocks right next to each other so we're just going to kind of Kind of add little ones here and there. Make sure it looks like it's random, just like it would look out in nature. Couple last big boulders down here towards the bottom. Maybe something like that, and then put another one in front of it. Boom. All right. So there's our little waterfall here. And uh, now what we're gonna have to go, what we're gonna have to do is go into construction. You go into special effects and water and here we go we've got water jets we've got splashes shoot we're gonna have to see we're gonna have to see what each one of these things does so that's gonna be down towards the bottom all right so we could actually if we put these down on the bottom that's gonna look like the water once it hits hits down here Rapid splash shoot. We're gonna we're just gonna have to hit play and see what this looks like I mean like see see this This could look pretty good. Can we spin this around so it looks like it's coming down? Yeah, we're gonna go with something like this like that Honestly, that looks pretty good right there. I mean for our Our first time ever making a waterfall. I don't I don't think it looks bad I'm definitely not as good at this as as the ones that we we've gotten pre-made before you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm, I'm not afraid to admit that. But I feel like that looks, that looks pretty nice. I'll take that. We can work with that. So we've got that going there. And then it's going to go over to this little pond, which we're going to be able to put a tree in and, and 
kind of decorate with some rocks and stuff like that. But um, for right now, I think we're gonna wait until uh, until daylight. The sun is rising over a brand new day here in our zoo and uh, things are looking pretty good. So I worked through the night here and let me show you guys what I did. I made a, uh, a new little staff area and uh, it's just, it's it's something small. I mean, I was looking at our work zones and stuff and like this staff area over here is, is pretty close, but still kind of far from the cheetahs. And I was thinking about it, like eventually we're gonna have more exhibits out here. We're gonna want another staff area, not to mention that in terms of electricity and water, we really needed these two right here. So you guys can see we've got a transformer and a water treatment plant. So we're gonna be able to keep the uh, the cheetahs water nice. We were able to power, previously we didn't have any of these TVs powered over here for the lions. So overall, I feel like it was in this, uh, Overall, I feel like it was a necessary evil. You guys could see we kind of doctored it up a little bit. We've got some baobab trees, some elephant grass, some nice little planters and stuff. And uh, the best part is, is we actually don't have any negative impact on the guests on the actual pathways there. So I think we probably will get complaints of people walking by and being able to kind of see a little bit back there, but we, we can't ever truly get away from that. So uh, I, I don't think it's the end of the world and I think eventually it's gonna gonna help us out a lot. But anyway, back to our cheetahs. Ooh, looks like we've we've got some, some fences breaking and stuff. We're gonna have to call a mechanic. Uh, that's one thing we did do though, is we hired a keeper, a mechanic, and a, uh, a caretaker for this area, which uh, which should be good. But let's get back to these guys. Let's see what we can do. We've been doing research on the cheetahs overnight. I think we might be able to upgrade to grade two food, which is good. We actually don't have any food set out yet, so I feel like that's gonna be kind of important. Let's set this up for, um, for the cheetah. Boom, just like that. All right, so we're gonna grab a large food tray. I'm thinking, let's set this up maybe maybe over, I wanna make it kind of close for the keepers so it's not, it's not too big of a challenge for them. So I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put their water over here. That looks pretty good. Then uh, let's see what we could do for enrichment items. I mean, we've, we've already got quite a, quite a bit going on here. I'm gonna put a precedent snack up top. We're gonna put a fire hose ball over here in the field along with a, a box. Let's go with a regular cardboard box over on the other side. We can go with a scratching post. I'm gonna put this up top as well. Kind of a cool little thing. And then a rubbing pad maybe over in this corner. Looks good to me. We've got a rotation line feeder. Uh, I guess, I mean, we, we put it up there. I didn't mean to. I'm gonna put that over here. And I feel like, I mean, that, that should be pretty solid. I am kind of sad. We're gonna watch their their thing go up to 100% here. We're up to a 97% happiness rating, which is good. But I am kind of sad because we really, we are gonna be able to do much in terms of coverage. We're, we're gonna get to work on that now though. But before we do that, I do wanna show you guys, we were so busy worrying about the cheetahs, we never really noticed. We do have, uh, we've got some baby tigers. <laughs> oh, stop it. Oh, that is one of the cutest things I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Hold on, let's, let's slow this down to normal speed. That is so cute. We've got three of them. Three baby Bengals. Listen to those little, little... Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, that is, that is so funny, dude. All right, cool. So we've got that, but like I said, the focus is on these cheetahs. So let's, um, let's go do this thing. So they're going to want Africa grassland, right? Africa and grassland. See, that's that's not really a whole lot to go off of. That's why we added the waterfall and everything else. But um, we'll, we'll see what we can do here. So we're gonna go with Africa. We're gonna go with the grassland biome. And let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. So we've got, you know, different reeds and stuff, candelabra trees. We could put a baobab up there somewhere. We do have these, these thorn trees, which are some of my favorites. So I do think I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one of these up here. Let's put that there, and then we're gonna put the uh, the little pre-scented thing. I'm gonna take the tree away first. We're gonna put this over here, just like that. And then we're gonna be able to put uh, put that that nice big big tree up here. So we've got that. I mean, we could put a smaller one over here in the middle of the lake. We could uh, you know do do some little little sedges and stuff. Maybe around their entrance. Gonna put these guys in each each corner of their entrance just to give them a little bit of color. So we've got 
We've got that like that, looks pretty good. What else can we throw in here? We've got, I mean, like I said, really just not, not a whole lot, unfortunately. We could put a little baobab tree over here. Maybe we could make another little hill and put a baobab up on top of it. Let me see. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put this baobab. So let's let's grab uh, grab our terrain tool. We're not gonna make it too intense. We obviously already have a, uh, a pretty intense hill. So let's go ahead and raise this up. Oh shoot, we lost both their toys. Hold on. I have to move these for now. Let's see. Let's see how we're looking here. Dude, these guys look so small compared to everything else. We're up to about 15%. So we've got a little bit more. If we want to add some little like African daisies and stuff, maybe around the waterfall just to, to pop a little bit of color. You guys know I like to put them around trees. I, I don't I don't know why I like it so much, but I like I like the way it, it turns out. So we, we got to at least do this to, to one of the trees. In, uh, in the habitat and uh, boom. All right, how are we looking now? We're at 17%. We might be able to go a little bit taller. What if we put, what if we put some elephant grass down here? That could be kind of interesting. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw some big elephant grass down at the bottom of the waterfall. I kind of want to see the waterfall in action before we commit to this. So let's, let's hit play here. Yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Have it kind of wrap up around a little bit something like that doesn't look too bad all right so we've got that i'm thinking over here maybe add a few rocks and some reeds or something like that so let's go into our uh we're gonna go into our nature i'm just gonna throw down a couple of reeds that we might end up using quickly something like that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of all of our filters and we're gonna look for some desert rocks so we're gonna be able to set up a, a guy like this. We could grab another one and set it up over here like this. We could grab like one of these long guys and set it up like that. You know, just kind of some random, random little little pieces. Looks pretty good. And then we could we could kind of set some of these up. What do you think about something like that? Yeah, that, that looks pretty nice. So we've got a little rock and a little growth next to it along that way. I mean, it, it, it might be kind of nice to kind of line this river with rocks. I really like that look. So I think I'm gonna go for that. Bam, I feel like that, uh, I feel like that makes it a little bit classier. You know, we've got the waterfall going down into the perfectly manicured little, little, you know, creek or whatever you would call it. I did check the traversable area. They are still gonna be able to get into the water, which is nice. And uh, I, I feel like that's pretty cool. Let me see how we're looking in terms of coverage. Looks like we do have a little bit more that we might be able to do if we wanted to. I just, I don't I don't wanna go too far overboard. Let me see, is there anything that we've missed? I guess we we could put some some little, some little daisies and stuff along the way. You know, just kinda give it, Give it a, a wee bit of color, nothing too crazy, but a, a wee bit. I'm trying to think, we've got these marula trees, we've got nettle and stuff like that, but these guys like big open fields, you know what I mean? So like, apart from the little stuff, which we don't have much of, we've got this African daisy, we've got the reeds, and elephant grass, a lot of stuff we've already used. I guess there's nettle here, but what are we gonna do with nettle? Just kinda, I guess we could, we could throw down a, a little bit around this, uh, this baobab tree, but apart from that, I mean, I I feel like I feel like we did pretty well. I think this is a pretty good uh, pretty good habitat. We used what we could. The thing is, is they they don't really need a lot, so uh, we didn't have a ton of options to make it look nice. But I feel like with what we had, we did do a pretty good job. One thing we definitely need is if we go into our uh, go into our habitat, we're definitely gonna need some bedding. We don't have any bedding put down, so I'm gonna go with some extra large bedding, and we're just gonna. Kind of throw this around in here. Give them a little little space to lay. Should be kind of nice. Something just like that. All right, looks pretty good to me. And uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? But do we are we pretty much good? He looks a little dead over here. Both of them do. They're just kind of hanging out. But um, it looks like apart from I mean, what are we what are we missing here? We need, oh, we need better temperature. All right, we can work on that. Let me see the Zoopedia. Eight to 40 degrees, so we're gonna just get some coolers and set it to 35. So let's grab some coolers and uh, we're gonna set these guys up all over the place. So we'll throw one there. We'll throw one over here. 
we'll throw one over here and then maybe one in here maybe one up there and maybe one over here all right that's gonna be a lot of coolers but we're gonna set all these bad boys to 35 degrees that should take care of the heating issue so I guess I'm gonna extend that a little bit and then we're gonna take a uh, we're gonna take a little five meter path go ahead and reduce this down to our normal size and then we're gonna bring this along the edge actually I guess we could probably go to like a seven meter path you don't want to make it too small but yeah we're gonna have this run run back along here all the way to the main pathway to give people another another little area to to watch these guys from. So let's grab more of these and I'm, I'm just gonna set it up at each fence post. Every 20 meters, you better be giving us some money because we need it. So we've got that there. I guess we could do, I mean, we should definitely do some trash bins. So I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put a bin here and here. We could put another set over on this corner, just like so. Gotta make sure you're always keeping the trash and stuff out of control. We could probably put some, some bins up here, oops, up here as well. And then we need speakers and TVs, of course, as we always do. So we're gonna come into our uh, educational things and we're gonna set these guys up. I'm also gonna set, uh, I'm gonna set one speaker next to each tip box. I feel like the speakers are the most effective at, at you know, getting the education out there. And I, I think people would be more inclined to tip if they're learning and they, you know, see their kids learning and stuff like that. So we're gonna set up a little speaker next to each donation box and uh, should be should be pretty good there let's go ahead and keep uh, keep this going all the way through here want to make sure they don't overlap obviously we've the lion education over on the other side we've got the cheetah education on this side everything is uh, everything is looking pretty good see like that one's gonna overlap so we're just gonna put this one right here and we could actually move this a little bit further down all right cool so, I mean, apart from, we don't really have any power over on this side. We're going to have to figure something out with that in the future. But apart from that, I think, I think we're pretty much good to go. I mean, these, these guys are, are happy. They're healthy. Look at them chilling there in the grass. Oh, yeah. You are a cutie. Just hanging out in the long grass, enjoying himself. He's got a giant waterfall to look at next to him. Oh, we've already got baby cheetahs? Are you kidding me? We've already got babies. I love it, dude. Things are happening and they're happening fast and they're happening in a, uh, a great way, dude. Oh my goodness. So these guys, I mean, nutrition's not great, especially for babies. I think, do we have, no, we don't have grade three food unlocked yet. So as soon as we get that, we're definitely gonna make that happen. But uh, overall, I mean, everything is, everything is pretty good. These guys are, are very, very happy apart from their meals, which is just gonna come with, uh, with researching more so hope you guys enjoyed drop a like if you did thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna see you guys in our next episode of planet zoo catch you all there peace out